Hello, my brethren. I hope you're all well. We're no longer good men, gentlemen. In the eyes of society, we're no longer the obedient slaves that we once were. We're seen as enemies, as cowards, as people who have given up, who have mistaken their purpose in lives to instead of serving others, to serve ourselves. And it is not just women we no longer serve. We don't want to serve anyone. Our freedom is what's most important to us. Nothing else is. It's our freedom that we care most for. And I want you guys to know that I also value my freedom and my independence as a person as much as you guys do. MGTOW has grown in my heart. I can't stand the limits that people are trying to impose on me. The relationships of my friends at times disgust me. The obvious manipulation from their girlfriends repels me. The lack of real conversation astounds me. The amount of obvious and extreme stupidity out there is just remarkable. And this stupidity at times is not simply because of their programming. It's because these people are not going to even accept evidence that is being shown to them. It's because these people are simply stupid. They're willing to refute them just on the basis of this is how things are. These morons, these blue-pilled men are delusional. Now at least we know that women are at least lying about most of the things, either to themselves or to us. But for these men, the problem runs deeper and it clouds their hearts and their eyes and their vision towards us. And I decided I'm no longer a good man. I am not the man that will sit back quietly and just shut the fuck up on whatever the woman says. Her mouth is not a prerequisite of truth. Her mouth follows commands from her brain just as much as mine does. So I will talk, I will answer, I will question and I will challenge. And if I see that the girl is being emotionally affected by this, her tears will be pleasure to my eyes. I don't care anymore. The truth knows no limits. And the truth is that in order to get the truth out, we no longer have to be nice guys. We don't have to fight clean. We are here and we're being oppressed and we're constantly being challenged. Yet we have to sit back and what? Be quiet? How much must the world change for us to be able to say that we had enough? I have had enough a long time ago, and you should have had the same. We are the quiet oppression, but we are fucking MGTOW. We are walking on our own. We have our own mind, which is free. We have inside of us people with intellect that I have not seen in front of me, and trust me, I actually hang out with what might be considered to be the smart circles of society. Yet the intellect is not there. There is no longer any questioning there. The programming set them captive and they can no longer free themselves from it. Yet if we don't talk, if we don't fight back, if we do not tell people what we believe, this message will simply grow organically and then eventually fade away. Fuck that. Fuck that. This philosophy is way too strong to simply just lie dormant. You fuckers out there think we are no longer dating. You think we have completely escaped, that we are irrelevant, that we are not necessary. After all, for what we are, there's just going to be so many others that will simply replace us. <laughs> but no one understands better the concept of male disposability than a MGTOW. Do you fuckers know that you're equally as disposable as we are? We clean your homes, we fix your homes, we do the plumbing, we serve you at restaurants, we take care of you in hospitals, we run your research programs, we are at universities, we're teachers, we're lawyers, we're doctors, we're nurses, we're physios, we're occupational therapists, we're fucking everywhere. The society that you live on, we help to run. We're like you, but we're awake. We serve a master and we don't know who the master is. I don't care who you think you guys serve. But there is only one thing we all serve, both men and women. We serve the pussy, the golden vagina of a united female human species. And I won't stand for that. I serve no one other than myself. And I'm happy for it. You think there is not enough of us? But we're plenty. And we're getting bigger every day. You think that no one in your life is affected by our thoughts and our thinking? Think again. This ideology contains in its core a philosophy that once understood, digested and accepted is completely unshakable. It is an ideology that infects single men, engaged men and married men alike. And guess what? Those men have friends, brothers, sisters, sons and daughters and the message will be passed on from one to the next to more and more people. 
Even if the government and society see us as misogynists, virgins, fanatics and losers, we know better. We have seen better and we know within us that we live fulfilling lives, both inclusive and exclusive of sexual release. Your pussy has no power here. And when I look around and I see how the society's grip around my neck is getting tighter day after day, when the chains that have me tied down are starting to burn around my wrists and ankles, I feel that I have had enough. Miktao, brothers, speak your mind, spread the message, speak to both men and women in your life and make your opinion known. Tell them that you won't get married. Tell the women that you're seeing now that you never will get married. Tell them that you don't give a fuck how that makes them feel. This is how you will live your own life and you won't be guilted into doing any of the shit that they want you to do. Tell your co-workers that you're single and you're loving it. How the freedom that you have in your life is a dream that they will never achieve. Tell your parents, tell your teachers, tell your friends, fucking tell everyone. Pass the message on. And when they ask, what the fuck is all this? Tell them this is MGTOW.